Shut up and sit down. Hey folks, this is Tony Day. Today I'm going to be going over a few ways that you can deal with uh, gamut clipping issues, either with neon lights, uh, with uh, LED lights, or just other color clipping that you might have in your footage when you are trying to use an ACES color managed workflow. At this point, I would like to say if you like this video and you find it useful, please like, share, subscribe, and also please consider becoming a patron. Here we are in DaVinci Resolve, and what we're going to be doing is trying to fix some gamut clipping with this red here. And we want to do it in as least destructive way as possible and uh, retain as much color information as we can. If we go into color management here, you can see that uh, the color science I'm using is ACES CCT. We're using 1.1. There's a node-based workflow that we could do as well, but for this example, I will show you how to do it in this kind of uh, workflow. So in order to really see the uh, artifacting issue, especially with the YouTube compression and all that fun stuff, uh, first we're gonna zoom way in and you should see some color noise in here, okay? And to really show what's happening with it, we're gonna desaturate so we can expose all of the issues, okay? So at this point in the pipeline and using this kind of uh, basic technique, we're not really going to be able to bring this color back. And you can see there's like weird banding um, hopefully the YouTube compression won't be so bad you can't see this, but there's some weird banding here. Um, and there's also issues in here. There's noise. If uh, I move in, you can see that there's this color noise all in here. So we're going to create a node here. And uh, this is Blackmagic RAW. So if you're using Blackmagic RAW, there's a pretty easy way. If you're doing a Rec. 709 conversion or an sRGB conversion and you don't really, you know, you're not planning on needing like a huge color gamut, you can just click on this gamut compression, which really helps. If you look in here, a lot of that noise is gone. And if we zoom in, you can see that the color noise uh, that was in here is now gone. See that? So by using this gamut compression, you can deal with the problem rather quickly if you have that option over here. This gamut compression here, uh, if I remember correctly, it maps it to uh, around Rec. 709, or that's more the target. Um, if you want a wider color gamut in your pipe, uh, you might not want to do it here. Another thing that it does uh, is it kind of tweaks the color, if you look here. Um, you can see it goes from this pretty deep red. I mean, this doesn't look very good to me, um, but you can see that it maps it more toward like this pinkish look. And if we look over at the uh, vector scope, you can also see how that gets mapped from basically going toward red and it goes uh, uh, leaning a bit more toward magenta. This is what I expect out of gamut compression. So. Let's say either you can't do this or you want to compress it in a different way. Let's take a look. So one of the things that I showed before on my channel was using an LMT for neon suppression, but that usually works more for lights at night and it also had some issues. But let's see if it works here. If you go into your LUTs, you can um, put this neon suppression uh, LMT into your node. Now in order to work with it correctly, when you're in ACES uh, color management from Resolve is you need to right click this node and you need to go to LUT processing mode and go to ACES AP0 linear. When you do that, it will actually do what it's supposed to do. Now, did that really help? Well, it did something, right? And it also changed yellow. If you look at the uh, vector scope here, it really does tweak the color. And if you look over here in the blue lights and also look down here at the vector scope when i toggle this on and off you'll see how that blue changes see that okay so the actual hue is being tweaked and if we back out we'll go back out here you can see how the overall image does get tweaked in its color okay so you may not want this. In the case of this shot, we're going to even look to see if this worked. So let's go over here to this red. That was a problem. 
we'll toggle on the desaturation and you can see that it didn't really do what it was supposed to do right it doesn't really fix uh the problems so this isn't going to really work correctly for this shot we are going to try a gamut limiter okay so we're going to take this we're going to throw it into this node and in here we are going to choose as the current gamut we're going to pick aces the current gamma we're going to choose aces cct and we're going to go limit gamut 2 and we're going to choose rec 2020. now this can get us a better fix as you can see here it deals with these splotches if you want you can try to change different settings in here but i found that for the most like color retention you know rec 2020 seems to work pretty well um rec 709 can work the only thing is and i'll turn off this desaturation depending on what you pick with the gamut limiter it's going to change the color as well so if you look here at this red if we go to rec 2020 it's got that much more reddish orange also kind of show the bracelet it's got more of that reddish orange uh, p3 dci really makes it look more orange um rec 2020 seems to be the best of of both worlds i guess um even though it does have a bit of color noise still there so uh, again like you can try to play with this to get it how you want it but i've found that so far in in my understanding this has been uh giving me the best results with this particular method in order to do this last method that I'm going to show you, you're going to have to go and get the uh, gamut compression DCTL from the ACES uh, GitHub. If you're already a patron, you would have had this link uh, previously as I did post it in um, the post section. So uh, we're going to uh, click on this link. Um, if you need this link, please check the description below. You are going to uh, have access to the GitHub here. And if you go down here there's like a bunch of stuff right so the thing that's important to us is this model gamut compressed.dctl okay we're going to click on this so um you're going to get all this stuff right so all this is is a script and we are going to essentially copy this script into a notepad and put it in a way that uh resolve is going to understand um what we need so in resolve you're going to go into color management open LUT folder. In this LUT folder, you should have an aces underscore DCTL uh, folder. Go into there. And here's where you're going to put all of your DCTLs. Okay, so I have LMTs in here and a bunch of other stuff. You're going to uh, right click, you're going to create a text document, and you're going to call this uh, gamut compress. Okay. You're going to go into that notepad, should be a, a notepad here. Then you're going to copy all of this. And paste it into the notepad. You're going to save this. Close it. Change the end here. You're going to call it a dot DCTL. and that will change it to a DCTL. You can also save it as and change the extension, but I find this to be just easier for me. You're gonna close Resolve, and then you will reopen. Okay, so now that we've got that gamut compression DCTL available to us, let's go into the library here. We're gonna hit DCTL. We're gonna throw this uh, DCTL into this node here. Okay. And from this DCTL list, we're going to go to the gamut compress uh, DCTL file. We'll click on that and that will do the compression for you. Okay. And you can change the thresholds and all these different things if you want to. Um, also make sure that you choose the proper working space and all that fun stuff. Um, but the default controls here seem to do the job that I would expect. And if we, um, if you look at the vector scope here, 
uh, you can see how it's being mapped. It's very similar to using gamut compression. You can see these are getting a little into the pink. Um, but it does retain more of that color information than if you were to click this on. And also, if we were to click on this uh, desaturation, you'll see that it does do what it's supposed to do. It uh, really does a great job of getting rid of those splotches and artifacts. And also, um, in the arm here, for example, where there's all this color noise, it cleans all that up, okay? So this is a really great way of cleaning up the problem. So uh, how about color tweaking? Is it making any hue shifts? In this one, I'm not seeing a major hue shift uh, in any way other than, you know, obviously these reds, which usually is how I see reds being mapped in this kind of way. But let's try the other shot. So in this one, we'll throw in the same thing. We'll go and choose the gamut compress. And as you can see here, it did its its job without tweaking the colors. Okay, these blues in the highlights still are retained and they're not being pushed towards cyan, okay? That's it. Uh, with this gamut compress uh, DCTL, I think that this is uh, probably the best way I have seen um, to get this uh, gamut issue under control. So I wanna thank everybody uh, who worked on this. Um, I really do appreciate it. And I hope that you found this useful and uh, I will see you next time. Mm -hmm.